Hello and welcome to my tutorial series starting out with polymer clay. Today I will be talking all about color. The colors you might want to purchase when you are just starting out and how to mix your own. Part 1. Choosing your clay. I would recommend starting out with the three primary colors. Pomegranate, cadmium yellow, and one of these two blues. Turquoise, or ultramarine. In addition to this, it's a good idea to have both white and black. Since I use a lot of these colors, I buy them in a larger package that you can see here. Be sure to read the directions carefully on the package to make sure you don't burn your clay and that it is being cooked at the proper temperature. Part two, mixing the color wheel. Once you have your primary colors, you will be able to mix your own secondary colors of orange, green, and purple. Mixing these colors with their neighbors creates the entire gradation of the rainbow. If you are working with Primo Sculpey like I am, you will notice it does not come in gray, so you will have to mix your own shades of gray with black and white. Part three. Mixing complementary colors. Complementary colors are across from each other on the color wheel and they contrast highly with each other. Mixing complementary colors together will create varying shades of brown, but you can also mix smaller amounts of the complementary color to create a dull color such as this mustard yellow. This technique is great to use in addition to black and white for making all of the subtle colors you might need for any project. Here I'm going to be showing you the difference between adding a little bit of black and a little bit of red to this green. You can of course use this technique with any colors that you like. have two subtle shades of green. Part 4. Translucent Clay Primo Sculpey also comes in translucent, which is a great clay for making effects. One common challenge with this clay, however, is that out of the package, it is often very hard and crumbly. Before this clay can be used, it needs to be conditioned. Take a roller and press it as flat as you can. Try to work slowly so that you don't have to deal with quite as much crumble. Once the piece is sufficiently flat and you're happy with how thin it is, you're going to want to take some clay softener and place a few drops onto the piece. Use either your finger or a Q-tip to spread the drops, and then once you're done with that, fold the piece in on itself to cover as much as possible with the clay softener. Once you have done this, you are going to want to leave it for at least a few hours. I like to leave mine overnight. Now I'm going to show you a piece of translucent clay that has already been conditioned. It has gone through this process twice and you can see a huge difference in the malleability of the clay. However, as I press it flat, you will notice that it is not quite perfectly conditioned. When you fold your clay and it makes cracks like these, what you need to know is that it is still too dry and needs more clay softener. Repeat the same process. Only this time, since the piece is more flexible, you're going to be able to roll it to enclose the oil. Primo Sculpey also comes in accent colors like this sparkling black and this pearly silver. These accent colors make fun additions to your projects. 
However, if you are on a budget or if you just like experimenting making your own colors, you can use Translucent Sculpey to make your own. Here I am adding a bit of ultramarine to my translucent, being sure to fold it in thoroughly to make sure that the pigment mixes to make an even translucent blue. When adding color to translucent clay, a little bit goes a long way. If you add too much color, you will end up losing the translucent effect of the clay. You can also add pigment powders or alcohol pigments to translucent to change the color as well. Now that I have the color where I want it, it's time to add some sparkle. This is a color shifting pigment I got from Solar Color Dust. Once you have the color flat, take a small makeup brush and apply a layer of sparkle. Then fold that layer in and mix the clay. Try not to add too much sparkle in one go or it will be very difficult to mix and it will cause the clay to flake. Keep repeating this process until you are happy with the final look of your clay. If the clay becomes too crumbly, you may have added too much glitter and the clay is having trouble sticking together. If this happens, all you need to do is add a little bit more translucent clay into the mix and mix it in. Here you see me constantly touching the work surface with the clay. I just use this to gather all of the glitter that I possibly can because as you know, glitter gets everywhere. These are just a few tips to help you get started choosing and making your own colors. Happy crafting!